Good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. Today's topic is rebuilding a past relationship with your ex. Now this may sound like something that you would never ever want to do, but every so often there's that one that got away in our life and we met them way too early. We're young, we have our whole life ahead of us, we fall madly in love with somebody and then we end up splitting up because things just aren't flowing because we're not at the place we need to be to be in a committed partnership. But what happens if somebody comes back into your life at a later date and you still have feelings for them? What if you've had feelings for them that have never dissipated? You still think about them on a regular basis and then you have the opportunity of having them walk back into your world. What do you do? Timing is everything and it can really be a big problem in a lot of relationships that never come to that full term of where you want to be with them. It could be you've got school situations, you live in a different city from them, job or career aspirations don't allow you to be with them. All sorts of things come into play, especially when you're younger, because you've got your whole life ahead of you and you're trying to make everything work for you. Sometimes the love department takes a back seat. And this is okay, this is not a bad thing, because you do want to get your life in order before you commit to somebody. Because otherwise, if you don't, you're spending so much time outside of your relationship trying to find out who you are. So it's always a good idea to figure that out before you end up in a marital situation with somebody. I always say if you still have feelings for somebody and it's been many years and you run into them and they say, do you want to go for a coffee? They're single, you're single. Why not? Why not go and just see what, what it's all about? Depending on how you broke up, can also make a big difference in whether you decide you want to see that person again or not. Obviously, if there was any abusive or controlling scenarios while you were together, you don't want to go back and revisit that. Because you're, you, they may have changed a little bit, but is it really fair to yourself to put your, your situation back in that same place again? You don't know how much work they've done on, on themselves at this point. And sometimes we think we're over somebody and oh, we can get together and just have a coffee and be sort of on the platonic zone. But then we find out we still have a mad crush on that person. And that can get you into trouble if your relationship with your ex ended badly. Don't revisit it if there was any power struggles or anything that was unsafe because it's not in your best interest to put yourself back into a situation that was either dangerous or or something that was just so heartbreaking to you. Make sure that if you're going to give anything a second shot that it was a good fit in the beginning there was just maybe a couple of scenarios that weren't there. If you do find that when you see them it's like that powerful connection is still there when you have something like that with somebody it can stand the test of time for many, many years. Look at how many people that you've probably heard about in your own life that have met up again at a high school reunion. And then they all of a sudden they get back together or maybe it was never an established connection back in high school, but you realize you've always had something together. And I think it's always worth a shot to give love another chance as long as there's nothing in there that is is unsafe. Give it a try, why not? We're not always ready at the same time with people and that's part of love's dilemma. We sit down and we think about the one that got away for many many years and if fate has it, the universe is there for you and brings them back into your life, go and have a coffee with them, sit down, ask them what they've been doing since you broke up, what, what has changed in their life, what work have they done on themselves and what have you done on yourself since you broke up. If there were issues about maybe uh, emotional unavailability, have you taken counseling or coaching sessions to try and better yourself so that you can have a nice emotional connection with a partner. Learning lessons from a past relationship is very important to, to take that away with you. But it's also very important not to walk back in to a relationship with that person and the same things are still there. If that is happening 
it's not worth you going back and venturing in and trying to make it work because it didn't work before. You don't want to repeat patterns that are really not good for you. This is what's so great about being in relationships. You do have lessons and things that you can walk away with and say to yourself, okay, thank you for being in my life for that time because this is what I learned about myself. If you've both done a little bit of work on yourself and you're open and honest with each other, I think it's really worth giving it another try. As I say, it's all about timing. Sometimes we just meet somebody way too early in our life. And if the universe brings them back to you for any reason, go figure it out. You don't have to invest a lot of time, but really hear what they're saying this time. Don't let anything slide that is a repeat of what you came out of with them because you want it to be in a stronger place. People can definitely change, but I think the core of who their character is doesn't really change that much. That's who they've been the majority of their life. So if there was just a few things, simple things that all you needed to do was just kind of open up and talk about it in the past and you both didn't and you've grown and you've learned how to communicate, you've learned how to be emotionally connected with people in your life, then you probably have a really good chance of making something happen with them. It's also good to just sit down and ask them how they lived their life. What happened since you guys have been apart? What changes did they make in their life? How are things going now? Is there uh, a situation where you guys can come together as a couple because of the fact that you both are on the same page now? Maybe before you weren't. Maybe now you've got your life in order and everything is feeling secure and you're at the right time and place to commit to somebody. If you both pick up where you left off, like nothing even has, time hasn't even been an issue in there, you probably have a really good chance. So give it a shot as long as there was no hurtful endings and really painful scenarios where they just didn't respect you. It's worth talking to them at least and just seeing where things can go. Because love, as they say, love doesn't always come to us when we're ready for it but it can come back again. And if it does, don't let it slip away this time. Thank you so much for listening to Dear Cyber Sue today. Please leave any comments you have. Please click like on this. And if you haven't subscribed, I'd love it if you could do so. Thanks so much for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue today. Bye-bye.